People, I am very busy today. I realize that, Dr. Gablehauser, but it is your job as head of the department to mediate all interdepartmental disputes. University Policy Manual, Chapter 4, Subsection 2, Mediation of Interdepartmental Disputes. <laughs> Fine. Dr. Winkle, what colorful name did you call Dr. Cooper this time? Dr. Dumbass. <laughs> Dr. Cooper, Dr. Winkle apologizes. No, no she I doesn't. Don't. Here's the problem. I was clearly signed up to use the mainframe in Buckman 204, and Dr. Winkle just wantonly ripped the sign-up sheet off the wall. It wasn't even an official sign-up sheet. He printed it himself, and he put his name down on every slot for the next six months. You... If it is a crime to ensure that the university's resources are not being squandered chasing subatomic wild geese, then I plead guilty. <laughs> Penny? You need to get that, Dr. Cooper? God, no. Well, don't turn it off. You might miss your call from the Nobel Committee letting you know you've been nominated as Dumbass Laureate of the Year. Oh, yeah? Well, you wouldn't even be nominated. <laughs> Dr. Gablehauser, I have a series of important multi-loop calculations and simulations to run. All she's doing is reducing irrelevant data and making a mock... Excuse me. Gablehauser, it's for you. <laughs> Hello? Penny, this is not a good time. <laughs> no, I told you, you're not prepared for the sanctum of burning souls. <laughs> you need to be in a group of at least five for that quest, and one should be a level 35 healer. Penny, I can't log on and help you. We'll talk when I get home. I'm not getting the computing time, am I? Dumbass. Hey, what's with him? Penny's been keeping him up at night. Me too. <laughs> but probably in a different way. She's gotten really hooked on Age of Conan. She's playing nonstop. Ah, yes, online gaming addiction. There's nothing worse than having that multiplayer monkey on your back. Sheldon, wake up! Danger! Danger! Afternoon, men. Sheldon. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, your attempt at juvenilizing me by excluding me from the set of adult males... Just, oh, I'm too tired to do this. Right, I heard you've been pulling all-nighters with Middle-Earth Barbie. She comes into my room. No one's supposed to be in my room. I would postulate that she's escaping into the online world to compensate for her sexual frustration. I do that, too. <laughs> but probably in a different way. That's not what she's doing, Leslie. She's just trying to shore up her self-esteem. It has nothing to do with sex. Everything has to do with sex. Hmm, testify. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> Leslie, you are way off base here. Hang on, Leonard. Well, I have no respect for Leslie as a scientist, or a human being, for that matter. <laughs> we have to concede her undeniable expertise in the interrelated fields of promiscuity and general sluttiness. Thank you. My point is that Tinkerbell just needs to get her some. Some what? Oh, yes, some sexual intercourse. I'll take the bullet. <laughs> Excuse me, this whole idea is insane. Yeah, yeah, enough debate. I'm going to take action. Excuse me. Are you currently involved in a sexual relationship? No. Would you like to be? Uh, sure, why not? Sheldon? <laughs> Can I have your phone number? Uh, yeah. There, problem solved. <laughs>